Hello guys, welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Star Tropics. Now let's start chapter 3, shall we? Storm and calm. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses subsea. Eh, look at the submarine. It's like tipped over his front nose down. You awaken to find subsea was wrecked in the storm. It's always strange to claw calm after a storm. Well, duh. Oh, I'm not at the walk. That sucks. Okay, time to walk. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. Oh yeah, that helps. Go to Miracola and find help for your wrecked ship. Okay, so I'll have to do that then. But I can't get to Miracola yet. I gotta go through a cave first. Like this one. Okay, some chocobo ripoffs. We can take those out with these. Two hits, I believe. There we go. Uh, why don't I get that treasure? Oh yeah, I can get it. Polas! Well, uh, those green things from Mega Man 3 use them. So they must be good. Monkeys! Oh my god, it's Donkey Kong's retarded children! Only they don't throw barrels. Good thing. Damn, Donkey! How fertile are you? DK's been getting it on! How many different mothers must he have been with? He literally is a motherfucker! Oh, great snakes, bullas, jump! Two hits, get him. Um, maybe I should go straight forward. Uh-oh. Oh, that was close. That looked a bit dangerous. What the fuck are those things? Skella chickens? Or... Whatever, they they take like one and a half hearts for each hit. Damn! They jump over rivers. He thinks that is not good. Uh oh. Uh, just in case I'm not safe state. Okay, I found it. Found the switch. Good thing too. Is I do not like the dark, especially when there's water that can kill you. He thinks that is not fun. Is there another switch somewhere? Oh, I skipped it. Yeah, I think we should go up this way. Ah, found the exit! There we go. There. Oh, you've done it and only save stated once! We were not, that was the first time you save stated in the entire game! Now we're in Miracola. That's up, Tubbs. Hey, asshole, block my way! Do that again, will ya? I dare ya. Hi, I'm a brave soldier too. Can I go with you? They almost died at sea. Um, er, um, I'm getting seasick. I better stay here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, what was there? Okay, here we go. Ben is sick in bed. Get out. Oh, charming. I didn't know he was so hostile. Maricola. Oh, I'm, I meant to say hospitable. Hostile is a, pretty much what he was. Okay, Bananette is sick, and I gotta go find a way to actually make her feel better. Even Miss Coral, tell me which is best. I'm cool. Hey, fuck you. 
Our chief loves his daughter very much. Uh, well, I mean, you should love your daughter. I mean, that's your child after all. Like, did I really need to be told that? Like, this guy actually loves his kids. Wow! That is so encouraging. I thought everybody hated their kids. The castle of Shikola. Apparently he doesn't like that place. I gotta get some coconut milk. From that one hit I took from that Skilla chicken. Uh, that's some fucked up enemies. Very fucked up. Oh, let me guess. I didn't talk to every single person, did I? Let me guess, I bet you I missed one person and that's why I'm in this situation. Who did I not talk to? Oh, it's gonna be slow, so let's speed it up. Are you not gonna talk to me? Fuck you then. Who did I not talk to? Talk to him. Talk, talk to you. I talk to you. I talk to you. Who did I not talk to? I bet it was that guy at the gate, wasn't it? Guy at the gate, I bet that's why I could not get in there. I bet you that's what it is. Oh, look, watch, as soon as I talk to this guy, I'm gonna be allowed to come in. Oh, maybe not. What am I supposed to do? I mean, who else can I talk to? I'm gonna talk to that prick. Um, oh, let me guess. I was supposed to say that. Let's try that. Give her a boost of self-esteem, but that's what it is. You. Oh my god, that's what it was, too. I'm just hanging out. He's the chief. That fucking childish bitch. No, oh, seriously. I'm Chief Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. Please, can you help me? One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky, and suddenly dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Bananette has been slept, and she will not awake. Please help my daughter, she is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter, and I'll fix your wrecked ship. You look like you've been fixing yourself to many other things, too. I mean, look at you. At least you were covering your man boobies, that's good. That's a little bit of positivity. I cannot believe that. I was not allowed to enter unless I said she was the pretty one. Oh my god. Bet you that was what her, her father was blocking that way. What am I doing going this way? I'm supposed to go to the right. So I can be allowed to go through that path now. I might have to put a forest maze there. Or jungle maze. Oh, right! I forgot to visit her! That's why I went that way. Damn it! I hate this so much. So much with pain in the ass. Everybody's looking at me for everything. Alright, you better not block my way. Yes, I'm Mike. She's asleep and turning purple. Sick for so long, yeah. Okay. I just had to look at her turning blue, and now all of a sudden I'm allowed to go through. Oh man, oh, I gotta hate when you're forced to talk to every single person in the town. Especially if they have no useful information. They're just there to exist. Good luck! Yeah, fuck you! Okay, since I'm out of time due to my stupid exploits in Miracola, I'm gonna stop the video right here before I can go to the second dungeon in Chapter 3. But stay tuned for the next part when I go there. Bye everyone!